Absolutely perfect, Monica. Thank you, thank you. But uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, how many of us, we laughed, we cried, right? Uh, it's, been, it's just been an emotional roller coaster day. And that's what life's all about. It's, 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 it's all the flavors. It's all the seasons. It's everything. It's not just one straight uphill. Could you imagine? I got in, all my friends said yes. When SVP, I don't know what you mean. No one said, you know, yes to you. It, you got to get the yeses and the noes. You got to have the good and the bad. That's just the world that we live in. But uh, man, what a, what a special day. What a special weekend. I just want to uh, recap a couple things. Number one, uh, my brothers know me not his whole life. I'm younger than him. <laughs> I've known him my whole life, <laughs> but uh, you know, I love that guy. You know, he is a uh, he. Listen, you you want straight talk? Call Mike. How many of you ever had a straight talk conversation with Mike? Look, look Mike Eric's on his chair right now. Right? <laughs> and you, you better be like some of you aren't ready for those conversations. You ever hear you can't handle the truth? Mike invented that. <laughs> listen to Harsh. Lars is back there laughing, who knows? I remember when uh, Janiel said, man, Janiel Sandin, he's a leader in the back there, he said, man, Mike made me cry the other day. And Lars said, Mike made me cry for six months. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Three years, he said, I'm hearing him in the back. There's like voices in my head right now. But, you know, he, he does it from a place of love. See, some of us don't have a friend. A friend tells you what you need to hear. How many of us would agree that's what a friend does? A friend doesn't just buy into the nonsense and let you go down the wrong path and do the wrong thing. That's not a friend. They're not, they're not being a friend to you. They're not, they're not saying, hey, look, like, that's a choice and you can do that, but you know, here's the consequences of doing that. This is what this is going to mean 12 years from now, 20 years from now. And so, you know, he's an incredible leader. Uh, he is a gifted trainer. If you've ever had a chance to listen to him train on Friday night when he teaches the system, um, I mean, he knocks it out of the park every time. And we can plug into that. And that's a very special thing that you can actually have access to and learn from. And uh, it's gonna cost you $25 a month. Wow. $25 a month. And, and, and just to think that that's when you have uh, access. And we show him our appreciation. Uh, senior VP, everybody. <laughs> and uh, you know, that, that, that's the kind of culture that we're creating. You know, Mike and I, we couldn't imagine having such an amazing group of people like you here tonight when we started. We just, we just couldn't think like that. We couldn't think this big. We didn't have the belief in ourselves. We didn't think that we could attract people like that uh, because we weren't the type of people back then that could have people like you in our life because we had to grow and we had to become. And that's the, the beautiful part about ECN is it gives you the atmosphere to grow. The atmosphere to be around other people that, that, that push you is, 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 we heard tonight, drop the gauntlet, right? Challenges you. That, that's what this environment can do, not only for you, but for other people. So, you know, as you heard here this evening, get people to the event. Get people, and how do you get them to the event? You do whatever you have to do. You know, Mike and I never had the luxury of flying to an event. Uh, number one, financially, we couldn't afford to. And number two, we knew that if we flew and somebody in our team didn't have the money to fly, they weren't gonna go. But if we picked them up and we drove to Columbus, Ohio, or if we picked them up and we drove to Detroit, Michigan, or if we picked them up and we drove down to Atlanta, Georgia, they would show up because we brought them. And that's how we build our team. We would pick them up. And even when we got to the point where we financially could afford to do those things, hey, I can just fly, we knew they wouldn't make it. And so we cared more about them being there than ourselves because we knew if they got there, they would catch a vision. 
And it's only through a vision can people perform. And so, you know, take something away from this weekend. Who are you going to bring to the next event? That you could have brought, but didn't come. <laughs> Testing. Like, think of the people you could have brought, but you didn't because you didn't make it convenient for them. See, I, I think of car. How many of you remember, you know, the, the um, manual shift cars? How many of you remember those, right? Right? Remember when, when the battery didn't start, what did you do? You pushed it, right? You, you couldn't do it by yourself. You had to get someone one. Someone behind the car and someone to push the car, right? They push it, push it. They say, well, let the clutch out, right? Let the clutch out. And then it would start to go and then it would take off without you. <laughs> That's this business. You gotta push them. You gotta push them and push them and push them and push them and push them and, push them and they engage and they take off without you. That's a Jeff from Melissa Street. That's a Ken and Susie Potter. That's an Alejandro Carmen. You know that that's a harsh Patel. That's that's the individuals. That's the individuals that you know you just gotta do that with and watch them just go out and then grow. And that's a, that's a lesson there for all of us. So look, we've got an event in April, right? Dallas, Texas. I looked at flights today from New York, it was $70 one way, direct flight, $70. But if they don't know they have to go, if you don't make it convenient, if you don't get on the phone and explain it to them, if you don't ask them to go, they're not gonna go because most people don't have an environment of success. And because they don't have an environment of success, they choose the wrong choices because of their environment. You can be the right seed in the wrong environment, you're never gonna grow. You're never gonna grow. You can be the right person, but if you're not in the right environment, you're never gonna grow. This is this is fertile ground here, yes or no? Fertile ground. We saw it. We saw it, we saw it today, we saw it since we've been here. I watched cab drivers like an MD Raman come in become a senior vice president. I watched a guy that was living in a tenement apartment in New York City that my heart hurt that people had to live like that. That in this country, the greatest country in the world, that there were people that were living in poverty. And to see him go from that to living in Australia as a senior vice president with a pole in his house. He's got a pole in his house because of this opportunity. But it was all about the right environment, getting them to the right environment. Second thing is, you know, I wanna also just have you understand that Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. How many of us agree it's taken all the excuses away? Look, Rick, Rick will tell you, Ricardo's over there, he'll tell you, when we were crossing bridges, we were going through tunnels, 6.30, 8.30 in New York City. I mean, it was like traffic and Parking and you know, you're spending a hundred dollars to get a no You're spending a hundred dollars just to get someone that I don't think I'm interested or maybe you know Come talk to me and get about it later Right now you can get on zoom and you can do what we could only imagine that we could do And all you have to do is invite them on to zoom if your calendar is not booked If you don't have them already planned you won't do that so don't leave here this weekend, don't leave here tonight without getting your Zoom meeting booked and making a commitment. How many of us heard that many, many times this weekend? Make a commitment. How many of us listened to some speakers this weekend and sort of saw ourselves in those speakers, yes or no? How many of us have reminded us of people that maybe we know that we haven't even invited to come take a look? And so that's our job. Let's book our calendars, let's invite people into our world, Come hang out with us a while. You can't come into this room and hang out with us and not be, want to be a part of what we're doing. And, and, here, and here's what I'm going to tell you. Yes, you can go RVP. Yes, you can go Senior Vice President. Every single one of you have what it takes. You just got to make the decision. Is it going to be this convention or do you got to come to another convention to make the decision? But I promise if you just keep showing up, you'll make the decision. There was two things Mike and I did. Number
number one, we never missed a Friday night leadership. Because I knew if I could just get to Friday night, I would feel good on the outside, on the backside. Does that make sense? So I knew that I didn't want to worry about look, what are they going to talk about or anything. I just knew if I got there, doesn't matter how I got there, as long as I got there, that everything that I needed would come out of that Friday night. So that was every week I got a reset. Does that make sense? Every week we got a chance to fill our tank back up, to be able to get somebody to pour into us so we could pour into other people. The second thing is what Jeff uh, just spoke about earlier. Daily accountability that we can do. I know, Harsh, you, you've done it seven days a week. We, we started at Alhambra and I started five, five Monday through, through Friday. There's something magical in accountability. I challenge you here tonight to show up for the next six weeks on a daily call with your regional director. And don't work around your schedule. You might have to say, hey, look, I gotta do it at 7 a.m. Great, no problem, whatever that looks for you. But if you show up every day and get accountability every day, a couple things are gonna happen. Number one, proximity equals success. Proximity equals success. Does that make sense? If you spend time with people, you will become those people. And so to have access to somebody because it's on Zoom, that you can spend 30 minutes saying, hey, what should I do today? Here's what I got going on. This is what you should do. This is what you should say. Here's how I can call them. Here's how I can follow up. Here's a Zoom that we're doing. Here's how you plug in. It's a daily accountability. You would be shocked at how far you could be in the next six weeks if you showed up every day at accountability. And I've seen people that have done it and I've watched them grow and I've watched them have success because it was something that we couldn't have done before 2019. We, we couldn't have met every morning, five days a week, or in Harsh's case, seven days a week every morning because of proximity. Can we agree? We just couldn't be in the same area, we weren't in the same town, we're in the same state, whatever that may look like today, that's a different day. You have that opportunity here today to be able to get with your leader on a daily basis. And I'm telling you, you will grow so fast, so quick, because it's an inside out job. And you're learning from the inside and the fruits show up on the outside. So that would be the one thing I would say to all of you leaving here, is plug in on, on a daily basis. Get with your regional director. They're looking, you know, how I decide who to work with is by the people that show up. I never got disappointed in helping Somebody that would help themselves. I never got disappointed for someone that would help themselves. How many of you helped somebody that didn't help themselves? And you got frustrated, you got upset, or you got a little negative about it, right? Because they weren't going to help themselves. But when you run alongside somebody that's already walking and you help them already go, you never get disappointed in helping somebody that will help themselves. And so that's my encouragement to all of you here today. We've got something I believe that's going to go down in the history books that we're gonna have something that people are gonna write books about. They're gonna talk about people in this room you guys are doing and how we're making a difference in people's lives and how we're taking people and giving them hope and opportunity. And when you listen to that announcement of Health Share, that's an opportunity in ACN. Does that make sense? Like a company in a company. That's an opportunity for us to go out and I believe some of the most difficult times today is health insurance, yes or no? And the fact that it's gonna be a lead pass, that we just sign them up and let them talk to the expert, if it works out, if it makes sense, and they say yes, they're your customer, and now you're gonna get residual income on that. Big buildings in town, are insurance companies and banks, yes or no? Biggest buildings in town, and now you're gonna get a piece of that on top of electric, on top of internet, on top of cell phone, on top of everything else that we're doing. Man, you talk about timing and where we're at right now, we should all be grateful. And only through gratitude we get more stuff. Only through gratitude. And I just want to uh, also compliment Alejandra that did an amazing job today. How many of us are here? I'm sorry, that, 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 this woman is fierce. She is just an amazing human being. I have the good fortune of watching her just do what she does, not only for her family, but for your family. And, and, and just what she did today, I just want to thank you, honey, an amazing job. It was incredible to sit there and watch you. Man, it was, it, was like, it was like surreal. You know what I mean? To be able to, she backstage getting mic'd up. I'm sitting in the audience like, what's going on? This is craziness, right? But that's how great this company is. And I can't wait for you guys to be on stage. Because look, every single one of you start right here with JJ and moving all through the room here. Every one of you have a story. 
And that story needs to be told. And you have the microphone in your hand, and we want to hear that story, and we know that story is going to make a difference, not only in your family, but in other people's families as well. And I just want to acknowledge my mom. we got my mom here. <laughs> None of this would be possible unless it was for her. Right? And, uh, you know, look, we, we weren't even the easiest. So, you know, you, you have little wild kids at home, like, they, they might be the future Mike and Pat. Does that make sense? <laughs> Like, we had to go out and do something great because she put up with all the nonsense that we gave her growing up. And, uh, you know, we love you, Mom. Thank you for being here as well. And, uh, you know, we're just excited about the future here together. So, guys, let's, let's go have some fun. You know what? This is our first national convention on Saturday night. I didn't tell you. It's a school night. Don't go out late. You know what I mean? There's no reserve seats. You know, we need you there in the morning. We don't want to have to smell alcohol on you. Tonight, that really is not the case. You can do whatever you want to go do. But as uh, much fun as you want to have and hang out with some of the greatest human beings on planet Earth. They're here, right here. So take lots of pictures, right? Let's take lots of pictures because you're going to look back on those pictures and you're going to be like, do you remember when? You're going to look back at those pictures and say, man, didn't we have a great time? And man, I remember you were in ETL when you were in RC, and I remember when you were on your way to RD. And you're going to look back at those pictures, I promise you, and cherish them. So, guys, it's been an honor uh, to be with all of you guys. We are excited about the future. We're blessed. Mike, anything else I'm missing? Let's give everybody a round of applause. God bless you guys. Let's go